Welcome to Introduction to Architecture by the CAD Academy. This is Stephanie Kwame. What is architecture? Architecture is such a huge subject with so much uh, variations that it's a little bit like the more I learn, the more I learn how little I know. So you can make a lifetime of learning about architecture. But today we're going to do a quick overview. Like the definition, architecture is a Latin word and it means builder, carpenter, or mason. Architecture is as basic as humans need shelter. We can be comfortable in 70 to 80 degrees with medium uh, relative humidity and anything other than that we need shelter so we can uh, live. I've taken two buildings from the opposite ends of the temperature spectrum and one is a Hogan. It's a, a Navajo Indian dwelling. They live in an area where I can get to be in the heat of the summer 115 and 120 degrees, yet they can live in a Hogan without dying of heat stroke. The other end of the spectrum is in Alaska. This is an igloo and it was basically originally built by the Intuits, but they put in a small fire, they raise their beds higher, and they can keep from freezing to death. What I think is unique though is if you look at the shape of these two architectural dwellings, they are similar. The first homes in America had just to do with that. People needed shelter. So they copied the Native Americans and they first did wattle and daub homes. They're basically twig and mud homes moved on to log cabins and then with the industrial age we were doing mass production with the uh, age of Henry Ford and there was actually home kits and you see them in the Midwest and they are still there today. <clears throat> Architecture can define a location. You look at a building and you know where it is. Such is the Sydney Opera House in Australia. It sits on the harbor, it's uh, roof is massive sails and you know exactly where that is located. Does size matter in architecture? Even though architecture is small it can still have form and function. This is a shelter that's on uh, done by a student at the Frank Lloyd Wright Foundation. They go out into the desert on the property there and they build themselves a shelter. It's one of the first things that they do. And you can see that's a beautiful little architectural object. Architecture gives us a glimpse into the past and it's amazing what the past was like. The buildings were built to last in time and space when you consider at, that the Parthenon was built in 438 BC. So it's about 2500 years old but it's still standing. You can see the details on the columns. There was huge massive blocks they had to haul. It was It's an amazing building. <clears throat> the pa Pantheon is a Roman building and it had one of the first dome interiors, a huge dome, and structurally that's hard to do. Inside these domed uh, buildings you see, you see beautiful ornate ceilings and frescoes and all kinds of things. These are works of art, works of love by the craftsmen. Also they just didn't go out and start building, they had drawings. So they were doing architectural drawings back then and plans. One of the first quotes from an architect was from the Roman architect Vitruvius. He lived between 70 BC and 15 AD and he wrote 10 books on architecture. He said a good building should satisfy three principles. It should be durable, it needs to stand the test of time, utility it should be suitable for its intended purpose, and beauty it should be aesthetically pleasing. During this time <clears throat> they had tradesmen that banded together and they uh, were an interesting group. They had secret handshakes and they uh, taught their trade and, and passed it on. But there is great mystery that surrounds this group called the Masons. They basically were the first to start the apprentice, journeyman, and master uh, program that we use in our trades today. But what they did is they followed the building of the great cathedrals and did the work the wonderful, beautiful work on the cathedrals. And as they did it, 
the mystery started. For instance, on the bottom right is something called Six Walls. They have six walls adjoining here and nobody knows just exactly how they did it. I know of a small <laughs> one of these mysteries. I was once in a small town called Manti and it has a temple that sits on the hill and the stone is quarried, quarried from the hill behind it and there was a rumor about a staircase that had no known uh, means of support there like an engineering marvel so I looked it up and lo and behold the masons were in charge of the construction and they have two spiraling staircases that go up in a ta two towers one is uh, goes clockwise the other counterclockwise and they you can't even see the seams or the joints and so they are an engineering marvel but the Masons kept this information to themselves. They were uh, a people that believed that architecture uh, and the life of man had things in common. They said the wise man who follows moral behavior becomes the architect of his own life. <clears throat> in architecture we learn from our mistakes and as we banded into communities then a new profession came up called structural engineering and a new rules came up called building codes. You could see it right after the San Francisco fire of 1906. San Francisco is a dense community only eight miles long, caught on fire, <clears throat> just burned itself up and so from that they improved their fire department and their building codes with sprinklers etc. And you know that things changed on 9-11 when airplanes hit the Twin Towers. They took so long to build. They were beautiful uh, buildings and yet they collapsed in such a short period of time. Uh, I was awestruck to see that and you know that the building codes uh, changed with the collapse of those two Twin Towers and to make it safe. So like engineers we learn in architecture from our mistakes as well and improve. Architectural design really changes with time and these quotes say it all. A building is not truly a work of architecture unless it is in some way adorned and that was true of the Gothic architecture of the great cathedrals and as we became more modern we have the approach of the modernist architect was to reduce buildings to pure forms removing historical reference and ornamentation in favor of functionality so then we became more practical and now we are in the age of green and sustainable, uh, getting along with nature, saving the environment and uh, this is a quote from Frank Lloyd Wright, promote harmony between human habitation and the natural world. Another offshoot of architecture is architecture interiors. After all we don't dwell on the outside of the building, we dwell inside and uh, it's often said it's not the walls of the buildings but the empty interior or the voids within that are important to us. The, a interior decorator or interior designer said the essence of an interior design will always be about people and how they live. It is about the realities of what makes for an attractive, civilized, meaningful environment not about fashion or what's in or what's out this is not an easy job but this is something that you could go into from the field of architecture. Landscape design <clears throat> is another interesting field. This is Chrissy Fields and it was a dumping site for people and it was a place with graffiti and the landscape architect that uh, redid this area set of landscape architecture true landscape architecture must take in the sounds of the wind, the magic of shadows in the changing light, the natural beauty of the landscape should stop time and refresh the soul. Another offshoot is architectural animation and rendering and this works so well with students who wanted to work at Pixar, who wanted to be gamers and it's hard to make money in that, well that same skill set can be used to do animation and walkthroughs. 
that they have learned and if they have that artistic eye they can uh, do a good job with I've seen it happen over and over again personally and uh, they are so valuable to a company when they're able to do these designs we have for you an instructor portal and either the instructor can use it or you can log on under the instructor's login and use it as well and in our instructor portal we have ways to help you learn the software part of the architecture program and in the instructor portal we have units and in these units we have videos on how to do a project and you start right off by doing something uh, useful as a project so the very first project for architecture is called the cabin and you can find out from your instructor which way he wants you to work on that but you can go down and uh, gain efficiency and knowledge as you go down until you really know the program well so welcome to the CAD Academy and the architectural program it's the beginning of many exciting things we hope that a lot of you decide to go into this field and I leave you with a quote from Frank Lloyd Wright buildings too are children of the earth and sun Thanks for listening.